They call themselves the Guardians of the Galaxy. What a bunch of a-holes. Hello ladies and gentlemen and welcome to RFPW Warground 14. Yes, ladies and gentlemen, we're with Aaron Cage taking on Forward Told, getting straight away into the action as we've launched our plan and events for April and May 2016. We're gonna take it off with It Takes Two to have a match on 2 April. A lot of the shit of the fan. War! Oh wait a minute. One on Valkenberg, Fortune One. WTF just happened from Butchers with Love and Fan Fatal. So yeah, it's gonna be an awful lot that's gonna come your way throughout the next two months. Great events on the line. Keep you updated, of course, on those match cards, but we're gonna announce it as we continue onwards. We finally settled on the budget for Shut Up and Wrestle. 10,000 euros, of which are. Uh, most of has been sponsored by the municipality of Valkenburg with which we're housing because they never thought we were able to make it to two years but we did and of course we are in the RFPW arena as you call it but due to that sponsorship we have to technically call it Paul for Merlin don't ask me why they call it it's Paul for Merlin but I don't know why but hey we got something which is nice I think Oh man! Jesus. Oh man! Come on! Cover! First one by Aaron Cage. Of course, we have to name our partners and sponsors, OZWTV, the Wrestling Matters Podcast, and AK Online Universe. Also, those sponsoring the Jackpot, and additional partnerships by NSS, NSW, CW, and Crucial Gaming. Up, oh. And we have to thank our Fan of the Week, which has been highlighted on the fan section, new to the website, JD Dallas. Contributed to tailoring clothes for the rest of the behind the scenes, as well making a mark on restyling the booking way of the shows. You can now also book a show, which which you will help us a lot. Make sure to subscribe, as we hit 89 subscribers today on the RFPW Network on YouTube, and we're also of course incorporate into TRF TV on Daily Motion. Today, with my beautiful voice. With the Raging Falcon's voice. We've set up a couple of introduction videos for you that we've used on the website, such as explaining the jackpot, the order of merit, the basic match rules, etc. And we hope it works out for you that way. Yeah, there's our new people coming along the way. Davey Blaze is coming up, Nathan Cruz coming back, Big Daddy Walter, Tyler Bates, Seymour Gaines. Those are gonna be a lovely bunch of coconuts. Ah, uh, hello. So who is wrestling? If you want the full card, um, let me get to that. Sorry. There we go. Gonna give it up to you. Oh no 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 no! Cage, please don't. Oh god. That's the card. For those who want to know who is wrestling tonight, you have the full card now. Hopefully it's worth something. We kick off tonight with Aaron Cage versus Forward Told. That's what we have first up tonight.
You is fine, he done did it. What? What are you talking about? A boot. Later on tonight on War Grant, we have a hardcore championship match. The re reintroduction of the title as AJ takes on Bray Frosley. And in the main event of tonight, in a TLC match, James the King Kelly defends his War Grant title against Danny Richardson. Therefore, not all matches have been signed for Shut Up and Wrestle. We're going to bring you events 8 throughout the next month, throughout April and May. Which will be marquee events, therefore, are paid events which you can attend live. And of course, we're going to up the production value foretold for the cover. Two count. Good job. Good suplex. Knows what to do. And Aaron Kane just, well, sort of zombied his way out there. That was freaky. I think we had a collapse in the camera frames there. Damn, well, that looked like it was a zombie. But yes, as said, JD Dallas, fan of the week, has worked hard backstage, is helping us out. He scouted new talent including David Blaze. Well, he knew that David Blaze was there, but he recommended we should take another gander at him. And so we got him back. But that's a good thing. If you have a prediction on who's going to win this match, please let us know. And if you're watching this on the network or on Daily Motion, feel free to do so as well. Oh, and get take down. Oh, good job. Right there, by Aaron Cage. Blue shorts, okay, foretold. Predicted by someone in the chat. Cover by Cage. And Aaron Cage wins, so blue shorts is the wrong prediction. Aaron Cage gets the victory. 100 years to the order of merit and two points to his name. Congratulations, mate. It doesn't matter if you don't know the names, we're going to tell it to you as it is, so you will remember them once you're here for a while. Ladies and gentlemen, moving on to the next singles match here tonight. Introducing first. He's young. He's very young. Let me tell you why. He's 15. It's the Anarchist! Oh! Good fireworks. This guy's over 190 meters tall. Jeez. He's long for his age. He's coming to become a giant. Seriously. He's really going to stay with us. We're going to have a huge issue here. We also wish a very happy belated birthday because we just heard when it was uh, when his birthday was 7 of March. But still, happy belated birthday to newcomer Tyler Bate. I mean, I'm two years old. He's only 18. But seriously, that kid's got some moustache, which I don't. And I'm disappointed. And Jelly Belly as well. The Anarchist is in the ring. He's going to have to meet his opponent. Oh, in dark. Gonna be glow in the dark. Oh, there he is! It's danger! 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 Derek! Well, he hasn't brought so much danger, actually. Let's take a look at the rankings so we know where to square up on. Both, of course, are on the Hardcore Championship side. Let's see where they are. Danger Derek in position number six, two points. The Anarchist four points out of six matches, number three on the contenders list. But that doesn't say anything. It could go in a lot of ways here tonight at War Ground. And after shut up and wrestle. Oh.
Oh man. Come on. I'm on the way. So shut up. I wrestle. Stop the talking. Oh, great. Great stuff from the other car. Just like, mm. I want my distance. And then you're gonna get spin cake for that. Yeah, that's probably a good counter. But Anika is 15 years of age. 195 tall, 83 kilos. This dude was born and raised in hell. Seriously. Was the Anakai's comes from Aberdeen, Scotland. That's half has had to fight up all the way up the hill. Therefore, he's made of what he's now. Lord Burger 69. Thank you for the follow. And make sure you can also subscribe to us on the YouTube or follow us on Daily Motion. We've got a prediction that the Anakai's will win. That could be a good prediction, but we we'll have to find out, of course. I don't know what's going on, but I still suck at 6.47. I think that Twitch might be leading some fake accounts. Or accounts that haven't been used a lot anymore. I am doing fine. My name is Raging Falcon, and you're watching RFPW. And now you're watching... Warground number 14. Hope you're having a good time and hope you've had a great day. Looking forward to the weekend. I have to work personally tomorrow on another place. Can't tell you too much about that. But tonight I'm here on commentary for you. Let's hope you're going to have a good time. And a Kaisto. Oh! That might be a slight problem. Yotes. Danger Derek. Well, he's got yellow. Looks more like construction site. Oh, oh that's nice. Brought him on the back and then made him shatter his knees. Okay, I'll stay here until you're done. Well, we have at least one hour of broadcast time, so uh, yeah, that will be some time. That's a good thing. Yep. Oh. I'm moving to the outside. Can that might come into play? Going up to three. Oh. Crash into the barrier. Good punches landed. That's what you want to have. Six. Whoa, huge knockdown. And Derek might be the one to profit off of it. Set next week, Thursday. Six more days to go until we will broadcast the Shut Up and Wrestle Eye pay per view held this Sunday. We will broadcast that on a two year anniversary. As we're going to take it a notch up with RFPW coming up from next year. Eight events listed throughout April and May, and possibly some live shows throughout those weeks. Am I a big wrestling fan? Of course. I would not be watching RFPW or even commentate CQB, the interim director of it, if it wasn't for me being a wrestling fan. And of course, of course, we here are a small time promotion. Probably made some detours into Germany, but that's about it from out to the Netherlands. Oh. And yeah, and so in that fan section, I, I was trying to get around to it, the fan section on our website, rfpw2014.weebly.com, you were able to sign up 
to the academy if you're a great fan and you think you might be well worth it in the ring. And seriously, shoot us a message, RFPW2014, uh, on Twitter or uh, a mail, ragingfalcon.gmail.com. What is my favorite male and female wrestler? Um, to be honest, a favorite male wrestler uh, has to be right now, as of this roster, we've got some great names. I have to say Axel Dieter Jr. And uh, from the women, I have to say Viper and Candice LeRae are doing quite well. Definitely. Oh, Derek. Oh, 450 splash. Connects. I have to say, those are the good names on here. But we have so many great names. Zack Sabre Jr., Kyle O'Reilly, Nick Aldis, Joe Coffey, Mark Coffey, Tommy Ed, Joe Andrew, Jesse Goddard, Jack Jester. I could go on and on and on and on. We've got a great roster. No doubt about it. But Danger Derek is your match winner. Winner, winner, winner. And ladies and gentlemen, the following match is for the reintroduced Hardcore Championship. Introducing first the man with the baseball bat. It's AJ. Major stands at 167 tall, 74 kilos, and comes from Montgomery, Alabama, in the USA. Ranked this month by trainers overall 71 in his 20 years of age. Let's see what he can do. Of course, extreme rules. Why not? Okay, you can do it. Oh, yeah. <laughs> That's a good chant. Yeah, it is. Probably. <laughs> but, yes, we're also looking to fill in staff positions. Should also check out our fan section. Uh, we're looking for co commentators throughout the new year. Co bookers. If you want to book a show, maybe once, maybe twice, maybe in association with the board. And please let us know. Oh, look at that. Nice camera angle. Ladies and gentlemen, introducing his opponent from Liverpool, England. Stand 196 tall, weighing 97 kilos. Ranked 69 by the trainers. And is 23 years of age. It's Bree Frosley. Let's see what that's going to be. And he states exactly what we are meaning. Defend in the wrestling. No, oh, he's having a good tumble. He's having a good time. Yes, we definitely stand for what we think. And should be done. And is necessary. More going to have a good time around here. Let's hope we can continue that hype. And here it is, the heart quite tall. Oh, it's got a good blood spatter on there. Jeez. Do you have to? Yeah. Crowd's ready. AJ, Bray Frosley, hardcore title. Let's go. Oh, AJ, of course, being the smaller guy, he's got the very sizes advantage.
Oh! Oh! God, he hit! Doesn't matter anyway. Oh, get punches. A lot here, but oh man, good forearms. Ooh. Yeah, that's not really gonna help, is it? Push back. If our prediction is going to win the Hardcore Championship, please let us know. I'm actually awaiting what you are thinking about these matchups. And this one could go very long. This could go the extra mile. If it's going the way I think it's going to. Oh, dude! Somebody says AJ. That was a good one. But that's not it. Not. This time around. Bosley's got it all under control. For now, at least he's not losing. Which could easily happen. Just never know. And Frosley is knowing what to do. Look, oh, good elbow. Coming up with it. Hedge it. Oh, dude, see that power bomb. Where did it get the power from that? Dude, we've got to check this guy. This seems fishy. The open air and head there could easily crack him and bust him open. No push back. One, two, two count. Yeah. Definitely worth of hitting the gym. But seriously, he's tiny. Look at his arms. Come on. Let's be honest here. Frosley, frog leap. Come back. Two count for Frosley. Close though. And there come the hard hits and the strong style of Frosley. Which could help him eliminate AJ. Double axe handle. Shout out! Cover! Oh, two and a half. Close to winning the Art Court Championship there, but not enough. Oh, good one. Good job.
Oh no! Two and a half! Not enough! For bad guy! Rosley, ugh. Yeah, you can do it in that fashion. Two count. Nobody's pulling the trigger so far. Might be better even. Could see it going longer this time. Rosley knows what to do, but could be going up in many ways. AJ in the corner. Oh. Hannah puts him down. Oh, lights went off. Bad filter. Camera guys, please. Joel Breaker. There we go. But you could have expected. Oh. God. The fans that we have in the chat are going for AJ. We've got a love. We also love the underdogs, but we can never see how it's going to go. But he's definitely pulling out all the stops here. He's got good internal power for such a small guy. Now oh, that's two. He's not going to get it finished like that. Not going to get it done here in this fashion. Pause late. Oh man. Base blinded, of course. Oh no, final moment. Kick out. Yeah, okay, that can happen. And AJ, what now? What's your game plan? Oh. Yeah, that's definitely not going to get you the victory, mate. You need to do more. So much more to win this match. Russian leg sweep. Oh. Oh, that's a good combination. And he finish it up with kicks. Two. Ah, oh, that was a weak one. Weak last kick. But the combination does the trick. That rhymed. Not only that. Ladies and gentlemen, we have a winner. And he is the new hardcore champion. Not even being hardcore, but let alone that. AJ! That wasn't half as grilling as I expected, but hey. AJ won. And he's your new hardcore champion. And they should be happy about that because that's been a long time since such an opportunity. Next up is a Falls Count Anywhere match. And of course, it goes for one fall. No disqualifications, no count outs. Ladies and gentlemen, introducing first. He's back on track finally. Standing at 175 tall, weighing at 82 kilos, coming from England. Dean Heward. I love this guy. I definitely do. Can't help it. Just am. Um, seriously. 89 subscribers to the network. We'd love to see it make 90 tonight. Make sure to tell all your friends about what's going on in this fun fashion. We hope you're having a good time.
We have a website for you that you can visit, even including your fan section, where you can find loads more. RFPW2014.weebly.com Be sure to check out the staff, the events that are coming up, the champions, the rankings, the order of merit, the jackpot, and there's so much more. Make sure to be around here to earn yourself some poach. Without hard earned money, you can become a champion too by getting rewards in future giveaways. And of course, there also is a forum which we share with the lovely Cyber Wrestling Entertainment, ifedgroup.boards.net. This is where you can go and you can check out all broadcasts in uh, chronicle order, if that's what I want to say. Ladies and gentlemen, here is his opponent. Oh, he's also back. God damn it, I love it. Can't help it. From Cleveland, Ohio, standing at 190 tall, 78 kilos. Former RFPW champion, Trey Savage. He's rated 76, they know it's 67, so definite advantage by the trainers. Trainers, of course, uh, established uh, by Jeffrey, uh, Harvey Anderson, Nick Alice, and Soroy Knight. Definite advantage by the trainers on uh, Trey Savage. Tyler Bate just managed to like or a uh, happy belated birthday message to him on Twitter. So thank you very much. We love Tyler back. Definitely I like Tyler. But that's a different thing. He's got the damn moustache and I can't get one. And I'm just jelly. And Trey Savage looks damn well ready for this Falls Count Anywhere match. And so are we. Oh, dude. Here we go. Nope, the forums are outdated, so that's why you're missing out on the championships. That is normal. We've updated the website and wiki so far. The forums are Come in, don't worry about it, we're gonna get that to it. But it's gonna take a while until we've updated everything. We have six more days until the end of the tree, so we've got some more time left. As we continue with this grueling match, Savage versus Hayward. The money says on the trainers to Savage, what are your predictions? Who's gonna win the match? Will it be Trey Savage with the red pants? Or in black and red? Daniel with oh Fireman's carry good buster. Yeah, that could end it. Nope, okay, don't. Riley. Of course, after tonight we will update the list of champions on our website. And we key, of course. With also the latest results from Boom 58 and Warground 14. Tomorrow night you'll be able to watch the Academy 45. On Sunday we have the live iPad view, Shut Up and Wrestle, which will be broadcast next Thursday. So an iPad per view on demand, as you wish. Oh, here we go. Conf oh, he's found a sledgehammer, but Dean Heward. Too quick. And another fight with Kerry Godbuster, Dean Heward. Nice. But he is going to continue this brawl. 
Is it just kicking him in the balls? That's not really nice. Nope. Ooh. Cover. You're all the edge you Oh, savage. Of course, you have to follow the referee's directions. You can't completely choke anyone. Oh, man. Oh, no, 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 no. This is bad stuff waiting to happen with a table. Definitely more hardcore than the hardcore championship match. But hey, what can you do about it? Nothing at all. Sadly. Savage keeping it going. And just a two count. Hayward still on the verge of elimination here. Oh, yeah, of course. Belly to belly, but over the back. Definite advantage coming to Savage right now. Nine points overall. Higher ranked by the trainers. Tom Paper should be better. Good drop. Oh yeah, of course, he's going for the cover, but isn't he under the ropes? Rev declares it a two. I shake my head here because I thought that was a bad decision. Code breaker. And here it's going to the top rope. What are you going to do, mate? Oh my god! That could blow out your stomach, mate. It's a perforate it. And that's it, Dane Hayward wins. What a grueling move to win the match. Dane Hayward wins. Trainers were wrong on this one, but it all comes down to the form of the night. Blah, 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 de, blah, de, blah. Hey, what wins? Well, ladies and gentlemen, it's time for the main event of War Grand 14. And it's for the War Grand Championship. Key there, the championship suspended above the ring, is to get it. Ladies and gentlemen, introducing the challenger from the nearest nightclub. He's standing at 180, tall, 72 kilos strong. It's Danny Richardson. Try to rhyme that, that didn't work. But hey, we all know what his pants still say. He hasn't stopped playing. It says it's a spray can, we beg to differ that opinion. But okay. There's a local announce team called Charlie's Angels. And here he is, the champion from London, England. It's James the King Kelly. It is time, Royal said, gentlemen. Is the War Grand Champion ready? 
Is he ready to roll? Let's take a look at the stats and the viewing figures to see how these guys measure up. James King Kelly had 12 matches so far since the introduction of the Order of Merit. 7 won, 5 losses, 15 points. Danny Richardson, 8 matches, 44 and 8 points. Therefore, based on what we've seen, James seems to have the advantage. But this could go any way. If I'm dead honest. Good inside out swing neck breaker by Kelly. This guy came ever so close to winning the RFPW Championship, but in the end failed. It's a great contribution by Freddy Stahl, which got him some losses and definitely ruled him out of the contenders list there. Yerch. You've got to try to get the early elimination of the opponent. So you have the breathing room to get that ladder and climb up. And in April we're going one time to Germany for one of our events. The name is up there, we're not going to spoil too much. Make sure to check out the website and the wiki so you know where we're going to go. Gonna let you know the capacity of how many fans can come and watch us. Oh, good series of kicks by Richardson. Nope, nope. Oh, here we go. Chair made. Nice push it up into the corner. Want Richardson to get the ladder and come back into the ring. Probably to smash his face. I can get why. Oh, well. That didn't really work to plan. Richardson says, screw you. Well now Richardson's got a chair of his own. And also puts that in the corner. Uh oh. This is going to be a corner fest. Oh well. Yeah there you go. Oh. That nearly pushed him into the chair. Jeez. Is it iron? Ick. Well, it's mostly iron. Or steel. Up. Punch to the midsection. It's gonna take him up. Ah, put him down. Barely missed the ladder. That could have gone wrong. Hurricane Rana. Didn't know James Kelly could do that, but now we know. But now it's more about damage than getting the ladder on the right place. Yep. Oh, no. Yeah, of course. Job well done, mates. Kelly, what are you doing? This is not going to work just putting up the ladder back and forth. Dude, seriously. 
This is not fun and games. This is serious. You're defending your championship here. And you're going to definitely throw it away. Yes, we definitely can talk about that. No problem. James, seriously, you idiot. Boy, for now, you could have gone up the ladder and gotten the victory, but I don't mind to complain. Definitely Danny's going to take it over. You idiot. Rightfully so. Yeah, he doesn't have the brains, apparently. My thing sh to me, but I. He doesn't hear me anyway. He's hearing Charlie's Angels in the air, uh, Paul from Merlin, which we call the Arthur the Arena. And Charlie's Angels are much more nagging than I am, I can tell you that. Yeah, who's gonna climb the ladder? James Kelly's the first one. Richardson's just screwed up. No worry about it. Or oh, just slam his face into a chair for being such a numb nuts. I'll just throw him to the outside. And Richardson now. Yeah, he's gonna take him off. Of course. Oh no. No, no, no. Dude, you've got chairs in there. You could have at least try to slam him into the chair. Seriously. Oh! You know, that's probably gonna hurt. Richardson, come on. Get to it. James Kelly. Oh, he's taking you down. That's not the best way. Who's going to win the title? Oh, man. Oh, dude. You could have told that. Now James Kelly's lost another 5 IQ points. Like, James Kelly didn't have too much of an IQ to begin with. So I'm going to barge over the ladder each and every time. God dang it, James. Be a smart wrestler for once. Apparently that's too difficult. We can get that. Kelly sideways. Defeat. You're going to pick him up. Just Should have just laid him out there and gone up and won the title. No, you just picked him up, which is what you did, idiot. Jeez. There we go. Good job, Danny. Go get the title, please. I'm going to get this over for you. Oh, Ward Ramp, we have wrestlers with uh, an IQ of around 60. Baboons, you are. Richardson, of course, is going to get him down. Get a move on. Oh, this is so ridiculous. Oh, James, please. Get it over with right now. Jim Skelly's got it or not. Danny, seriously. Oh, yeah, of course. Yeah, I like that. Just powerbomb him. But I still think the hardcore match was better. There was no hardcore in it, but that definitely was better. This is just buffoonery. I'd say in the event that we have scheduled in May, from Butchers with Love, definitely this would have missed out on it. 
Could just show a replay because that definitely fits with it. Oh man. This is an awful match. I can't hope this one this is too bad. Jeez, Danny, go get the title, please. Make sure that we're going to get better. James Kelly just stands there watching. His title taken away from him. I'm just looking at it like, did this just happen? What just happened? Where am I? Who am I? What have I done? You've been wrestling a match for your championship, and now that's gone. Ladies and gentlemen, your new World Grand Champion, Danny Richardson. Fuck's sake. What a bloody awful match, but we have a new champion. Hopefully, it's going to be changing for the better. I definitely hope so. Thank you for watching. My name is the Raging Falcon, and I wish you a very good evening. What a bad ending, seriously. Oh, man. Well, War Gun 14. Better shots next time, tomorrow night, at the Academy 45. Good night.